Can Flying Fist He-Man survive the evil Fright Zone or Hordax Buzzsaw attack? Oh my eye, Mom! Welcome back, YouTube gang. We are looking at our Masters of the Universe Buzza Hordak, and of course, he is a deluxe figure set. He looks pretty good. Man, do I have some memories with this guy. I really do back in the 80s. But let's look at the card before we go ahead and talk about that stuff. And yeah, so we got our figure showcased within here. We've got our accessories here on the side. We've got some nice digital artwork going on there. We've got our bursts, one saying launch saw blade, and of course includes comic. And yeah, it looks pretty good there. We'll flip this guy over on the back side. What kind of digital work do we got this time? We've got Flying Fist T-Man, and we've got our Buzzsaw Hordak himself. And yeah, well, we got a Mantisaur hanging out there in the center. So there's a nod. I would say we were probably going to get that uh, mount or vehicle, whichever you want to call it, here in the future. And uh, our cross cell show showcasing, you know, Castle Grayskull, stuff like that. And of course, he's got an action feature. So we're going to be checking that out here in a few moments. And it shows him loading in and it shoots out. So let's find out how good it actually shoots out. This guy has been out for a little bit of time now. So... Let's get this guy out, and uh, let's not wait any longer. Here we are looking at our Buzzsaw Hordak, and as usual, we'll kick right off with the mini-comic before I forget to show it. So it is, again, once again, the international release, so I'm not going to have any chat bubbles. I'm not going to be able to read it on very unfortunately, but I can look at the fancy-dancy art. So, of course, I ordered this in from a Canadian retailer. And, of course, we've got the cross cell on the back, once again, showcasing the figures there. It looks pretty good. I like that teal. It looks pretty cool there. And that is the mini comic. And, of course, it has the little sleeve as well. So you're going to be able to showcase what comes apart. So even though he has an action feature, you're going to be able to take the parts uh, from the waist, the arms, and, of course, the boot cut, and, of course, the head. And that is that. And let's just do a comparison right out of the way, shall we? So let's get our Buzzsaw Hordak back up here for a moment. And we'll bring in our Ninjor. Oh, I had him standing up. There we have it. And, of course, we've got Beastman. And for randomness, let's bring in our Mortal Kombat Johnny Cage. So you guys kind of get an idea of how these scale. Okay, so Buzzsaw Hordak has a slew of accessories because he is indeed the deluxe figure set. We'll start right off the bat. We'll do his crossbow. And it's white. It looks pretty good. It's just the same with your standard Hordak. So there's your comparison with the standard Hordak. Looks pretty good there. And while we're at it, here is our classics version of the crossbow as well i'll show that up close so that you guys can kind of see that there there's your differences where this one kind of has a miniature action feature to it if you really think about it because you just you know press that down and you know it doesn't go very far or anything but it basically pounce, pounce, ah, bounces off and that's that he also comes with a extra hand so if you don't want to have that open hand you can have this one which is your you know basically you can have them so that he holds two weapons if you wanted him to and of course he comes with the saws and these saws are pretty cool you can kind of see that there is a horde logo going on both of them there there they are it's pretty cool there there, you guys can kind of see it now. And one's basically has more blades on it, where the other one kind of looks more like a star, star kind of idea. And while we're at that, here is our Buzz uh, Hordax uh, from the Classics line. And you can see that it's different color plastic, but it does have that uh, peg that's still in the center, that metal peg there. Looks pretty good. 
And that is that. And of course, the whole reason why I even bought this Hordak is, yes, the extra head sculpt. The extra head sculpt is actually pretty cool. And actually, give me a sec here and I'll show you. Here is our regular Hordax release. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is right off the bat, there is two different kinds of eyes. So this is the updated eyes and this is the old eyes. Now you can get Buzzsaw Hordak. There's a variant with this type of eye with just the, with just the red dot pupils. So you got to have to watch out. When I ordered mine in, I was really hoping that I would get this one. And I was very lucky that I did. So I'm very happy about that. And of course, this is just a smirking one where this one is his frowning one. So you got a big difference going on there with the head sculpts. They look pretty good there. I like both, and I'm actually probably going to put this one on my regular Hordak just because I like these eyes more. I like the full red eyes. I don't know why, even though the vintage one had the dots, I like this one better. <laughs> it's like an updated Hordak to me. Okay, so here is a comparison of our Buzzsaw Hordak here on the left. And, of course, our retail release of Hordak from Wave 4. And, of course, you can see that there is a lot of differences between each one. Uh, for one being that head sculpt going on there is quite different, as we mentioned earlier. And the mechanism for around the chest, so it looks a little different. And, of course, the retail Wave 4 has a darker red a horde logo going on there where this one seems more like a pink or a very light red and of course here is our comparison of the front side and of course our back now you can see right off the bat also that the buzzsaw hordak has the longer cape i'm not a huge fan of that and here is our retail one even if you were to stand his feet out straight you can see that it still is much longer so it's there you have it and of course we don't have this bat uh, shield there for his arm in uh, the Buzzsaw Hordax Deluxe figure set and here's a comparison with Buzzsaw Hordak from Master of the Universe Classics here on the right hand side so you can see the several differences going on here they both got that chest mechanism but of course Hordax from the Buzzsaw is just there for show. It doesn't have an action feature. And you can kind of see the comparison there of the front side and, of course, the back. So it looks pretty good there. And speaking of action feature, it is time to check out our Buzzsaw Hordax action feature. And actually, let's just bring him back in there for our shooting practice. So we'll load up the mechanism. You can kind of see here in the chest that you just load it up. And uh, it has a lever. So from the inside of his chest, you just kind of push it up there. And it shoots it out. I assume that's kind of how it works. You can hear a little click when you put it in. And then we're just going to... Let's do it this way because I am right-handed. And you're just going to push this down and it's going to fire out. And apparently this fires out really far. And I missed, but that's okay. We've got another shot here that we can test. Because he's got two blades. Let's see if we can get him this time. Let's go sideways here. There, we got him. We nailed him that time. And yes, wow, that actually shoots very far. I'd be very careful not to get that in the eye. And speaking of that, a little story with my uh, vintage one. I actually got him uh, on Christmas Day. I believe it was Christmas Day, 1987. And uh, I actually had him held up to my face and thought, I'm not going to hurt myself with this pushing the mechanism down, and I shot myself right in the eye. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of a little funny little story that I had. Short story, but a funny one nonetheless. So there you have it, guys. There is our Buzzsaw Hordak. He looks pretty good there. He de he's definitely warrants enough to get him because he's different. He's got enough accessories. He's got five accessories here. Uh, if you're to include the alternate head, and you can keep an eye out for that red eye, full red eye version of him. I really like that. And that's the whole reason why I bought him. So yeah, I like this. I like this figure. So I had to have him in my collection. And he was well overdue for a review. 
So there you have it guys, and I'm gonna take on off here, and I need to go put a band-aid on my finger because I kind of cut my hand there uh, when I was opening up the package. It's really sore, but anywho, thanks a lot guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Today, Radical Toys learned a valuable lesson when dealing with sharp objects that can really harm you. <laughs> Some of these objects are knives, or even sharp glass. <laughs> That's right, Orko. So remember, always ask an adult to help you, and remember to always be safe. Until next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>